Johnny's door shut, uh, and I remember spitting blood. And uh, his green eyes were lifeless when I saw the Naza, bubble okay. in the mouth. I thought. So what I did, I said, La ilaha illallah for me, and I asked Allah. Allah. Excuse me. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh Jumpa lagi dengan saya guys Cak Mujib Gimana kabar teman-teman semua Semoga senantiasa dalam lindungan Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala Dijauhkan dari segala mara bahaya Malapetaka bencana dan balak Serta berbagai macam penyakit Amin amin ya rabbal alamin Oke di sini ada sebuah rekesan daripada kawan-kawan sekalian Bekas ketua gangster berjuang bersama PPIM Oke PPIM ini Kalau kita ingat Oh Yang uh, apa nama tuh Organisasi yang bersama dengan Abang Ali Dan juga Abang Yusuf itu kan Allahu Akbar Almarhum Abang Ali ya Tetap uh, kita kenang guys So jom kita tengok guys Ini kepala ataupun ketua gangster katanya guys Jom kita tengok Let's go When I first started with my gang Saya mulai kumpulan saya ketika Oh oke The drug trade We took it over You know me and my gang I have a bullet that was lodged here One here I have the bullet that penetrated Broke my two ribs Came out I have a bullet in my arm Behind here And across my neck Oh banyak bekas ini ya. Oke, semakin curiga atas arresting And uh, so there's very little we can do without his cooperation. Vince Coccarelli may be a marked man. The son of the okay. bikey leader has been killed and his father wounded in a shooting in Adelaide overnight. Okay. Satu daripada enam percubaan membunuhnya telah meragut nyawa anak tirinya, Giovanni. Ini telah memberi impak besar dalam perubahan hidupnya. As soon as Johnny came to the front, I said, Do you okay. shot Johnny? And I put him into the car. And the assassin shot me boom, 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 four times. Drove the car as fast as I could. Johnny's door shut, uh, and I remember spitting blood. And uh, his green eyes were lifeless when I saw the blood in okay. the mouth. I thought. So what I did, I said, "La ilaha illallah" for me, and I asked Allah. Allah. Excuse me. I asked Allah to accept my la ilaha illallah for him because he couldn't say it okay and he didn't say it so i would ask allah to accept his la ilaha illallah and uh, so they arrest me and threw me into prison the hardest part for me watching my son's janaza you know the funeral on tv oh. everything was numb but to watch his janaza on tv in a prison cell oh jadi dia hanya melihat jenazah itu melalui TV saja guys dan tidak hadir di situ. Wow, sangat menyedihkan. Part of it. I've never seen Giovanni ever ever speak a bad word or stamp his feet. Fold his arms towards his mother. This is the level of love, respect, honor and appreciation Allah. this young man had for his mother. But I've never met anyone so loyal, so disciplined, and so fearless. Remember, he died protecting his father. I was very privileged to be part of his life. I want to say, unfortunately, my stepson Johnny was with me. But I'm going to say, fortunately, he was there because Allah chose him to be there at that time. Islam ibarat cahaya yang menariknya keluar dari kegelapan dan telah mengubah hidupnya. Allah chose me at the time He felt was appropriate for me. We were doing criminal stuff. We were intoxicated by drugs and alcohol, and they started talking about okay. Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. But what caught my attention? I mean, my radar came up as soon as I met um, Isa Islam, Jesus Christ. Oh, Messiah. Jesus. Okay, Because, Nabi you know, Isa Alaihi Wasallam. As a Roman Catholic, he was okay. a king, a god, a everything. You know, when they started talking about him, I said, I will never "What do you know about Jesus Christ? You know, like, what do you mean? He's a he's one of our beloved prophets." Excuse me. So the more they spoke, I okay. kid you not, I'm like a kid like this listening to my favorite show. I couldn't get away from it. I was so impressed and so convinced that Islam is the true religion. Wow. This was such on a high level of purity, of beauty, 
of understanding. I felt so free. I know now that Allah was bringing that peace into my heart. So that was my, my, uh, my shahada at a time. And the hidayah came at that time. So my intentions, I believe, were sincere because I know my personal connection. I know the tears I shared with Allah. Okay. I know that I feel guilty and stuff like that. So do I believe Allah will forgive me? Yes. If I don't believe that, then what am I following? My God is a merciful God. He's a loving God. He's a forgiving God. Meninggalkan sejarah gelap di belakang, Vince mengorak langkah baru dalam kehidupan dengan menghargai setiap detik waktu bersama ibu. Allah. First of all, my full-time job is my mum. You know, she uh, needs 24-hour care. Now, she can't walk at all. Dying of stage 4 cancer. Allah. Please make the wah for her. So I'm a personal trainer, especially with self-defense. I love my little lions that live at this residence. I try to teach them self-defense, confidence, humility, and self-respect. Not just for themselves, but for all the kids. Pengalaman hidupnya telah mengajar bagaimana penindasan memberi kesan besar dalam kehidupan seseorang. Melihat Allah. perjuangan PKM dalam membela nasib masyarakat telah membuka matanya untuk menyokong bersama misi yang dibawa PPIM. Oh, okay. I've been through my life. When you borrow money from a loan shark, remember that this will affect you, your family, your business and everything to the point of brink of suicide. Until I came to Malaysia and I've come across people that I thought were people that I look up to, you know? And that's Zaref, Johor's father. Until you oh, hear Johor. the things that he stands for, and they're not just words of emptiness, you know? He backs it up. He's doing this for the people and for the community. But he's out there fighting every single day, all day long, for the better of the Muslim community. Not just wow. the Muslims. But for the people of Malaysia, it's an amazing yep. organization. All the people of Malaysia. First and foremost, he does everything to please Allah. Do you uh -huh. see the things that he stands for? He protects people from gangsters, from criminals, from hardship. His organization doesn't abandon you. You know, and I'm blessed to be part of it as well. Malaysia, community of Malaysia, Muslims, listen carefully. With everything that's happening around, do you want a hero that goes into the front line or a hero that talks? goes into the back line and pushes everyone else in the front line. Who do you want? I want a hero that stands in the front line. Wow. He's the person in the front line. This But is the man. Up, man. This is the organization. This is a man. This is organization. Oke okay guys, sudah selesai videonya. So, yaps, itulah tadi kesaksian daripada bekas ketua gangster yang sudah ditembak beberapa kali juga, guys. <sighs> yang anak tirinya juga meninggal ya. Allahu akbar. Hidayah datang kepada orang yang dipilih oleh Allah Subhanahu wa taala dan orang yang nak mendapatkan hidayah itu sendiri. Ya Allah, ini kisah yang sangat-sangat bagus sekali, guys. Jadi ketua gangster ini berjuang bersama PPIM di Malaysia. Dia menemukan sesuatu hal yang To be hero gitu kan Dia akan um, ingin menjadi hero gitu kan Untuk masyarakat Malaysia So dengan bergabungnya bersama PPIM di situ Maka Allahu Akbar Sangat-sangat keren sekali gitu guys Ya suatu orang yang mu'alaf gitu kan Yang tadinya mu'alaf seperti itu Dan sekarang taat beragama Sayang dan melayani ibunya dengan baik So dia juga ingin berbakti Dengan apa melayani seluruh rakyat Malaysia Yang boleh dia lakukan Yang boleh dia bantu macam Allahu Akbar Orang-orang seperti ini yang harus kita contoh Orang-orang yang seperti ini ya Yang kita memang harus dihadapan seperti itu Bukan cuma ngomong saja di belakang Tapi kita dihadapan Berjumpa dengan masyarakat Lalu menolong, membantunya Allahu Akbar Semoga kita semua termasuk saya juga guys Boleh ya Tidak hanya di belakang Kita harus berani untuk berada di depan Mengayomi masyarakat Saling menolong Karena kenapa? Kita dianjurkan dan disunahkan oleh Rasulullah SAW Agar kita itu berbaur dengan tetangga-tetangga kita Dengan masyarakat lainnya Dan juga Watawasawbil haq Watawasawbil sabar gitu kan Menyampaikan kebenaran-kebenaran Dan juga bersabar dalam segala hal bidang So ini adalah sebuah video yang sangat-sangat inspiratif banget Yang juga istilahnya membangun semangat kita dalam sosialitas kepada masyarakat Ya, kepada masyarakat Jadi kita tidak hanya sendiri saja Tapi berbaur Tidak hanya ngomong saja Tapi kita berada di hadapan Untuk membantu dan menolong mereka Dan PPIM ini Allahu Akbar Adalah organisasi yang memang Tujuannya adalah untuk membela rakyat guys Keren sih 
keren 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 so terima kasih guys sudah tengok video ini sampai selesai apabila ada salah kata mohon dimaafkan dan bagaimana komentar teman-teman sekalian pasal video ini langsung saja komen di bawah jangan lupa untuk like share komen dan subscribe dengan saya dan juga share video-video saya ke sosial media teman-teman sekalian ke twitter facebook whatsapp dan lain sebagainya terima kasih sampai jumpa di video selanjutnya assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh